Hey guys, aloha. I fed all the street cats and gave them fresh water. Everybody was accounted for. I actually filmed a few music videos today because there weren't any cars parked in the spots I like to film. It was pretty hard because last night I didn't get hardly any sleep because of that blasted toothache and I'm still going through a lot of pain. It's the worst pain I've ever experienced and sometimes at night I just crouch in the corner in agony or I'll just run in place in pain. This goes on sometimes after midnight. Sometimes I'll just stare at the tooth and contemplate ripping it out of my mouth. The tooth, a molar, looks horrendous. The silver filming is noticeable on the top, and the decay does a complete circle around it. The bright side, it, teach, it doesn't teach me to take care of better of my teeth. No, no, no. It teaches me that just when you think you've experienced pain, just then, a bolt of lightning will come out of the cloudless sky and knock you on your ass something fierce. Never think you have it figured out, people. Even if you're a quote-unquote expert in any field, pride comes before the fall and nobody likes an asshole. Escape velocity is when you move so far past a certain thing, its gravity can't pull you back in. Now, if you haven't noticed, I've always been a good person, a straight-up guy. However, about four years ago, I made a mistake and I hung out with some documented toxic people from YouTube. Even though I only hung out with them a few times, they used this brief association to get me fired as a teacher and also to create my life a havoc. They tried to pretend I was somehow involved in their toxic garbage pail universe, which I never was and never will be. So what I did... One year ago, I filed a complaint with the FBI and the FCC, and I built an entire new community on TikTok. 80% of my viewers are women, because unlike all those toxic YouTube live streamers, I'm actually attractive to the opposite sex. My momentum is giving me escape velocity, and as my power increases, those talentless, glorified hackers are left like memes in the wind. My second book will be available soon, and my first book, Gonzo Education, is available on Amazon right now. Unlike many of these streamers on YouTube and Twitch, I have real people following me. The top streamers on Twitch, they're streaming to majority bots. They think they invented a new reaction genre, but that shit ain't gonna last. One thing that will last, the written word and Mr. G.